After years of cruising up and down a landlocked section of the Ottawa River, we have a serious case of 10-foot-itis and an itch to explore some larger waters. With retirement just a few years away, now's the time to start our search. And what better place to begin than Florida, where boats are aplenty and the snow isn't. After landing in St. Petersburg, we got right to work, checking out two boats on the first day before heading to Miami. While there aren't any boats in Miami that fit our budget, we thought, hell, it's Miami. So we planned to spend a couple of days checking out the Magic City. Driving across the top of the Everglades was super cool. The landscape is vast and the wildlife amazing. Though I'd have to say that compared to the northern variety, these Florida beavers are a little on the ugly side. Okay, Dave, what did you think about the two boats that we just saw? Well, the first one was nice. It was new. It didn't need much work, but it was small. I could hardly stand up. In the head, I could not stand up in any way. That was the Catalina 36. The second one was nice. Good layout, but it was uh, an 86, a 42 foot Endeavor. But uh, it needed too much work. South Beach was worth the wait in traffic. The waterfront is awesome and the ocean views are perfect. We managed to take in some sights and meet up with a friend from home for a day out before pulling up anchor and heading to the Keys. Arriving only a month after Irma had blown through, there was still debris from the storm piled high along the highway. It felt a little funny vacationing while the residents picked up the pieces, but as it turns out, businesses were happy to be back up and running and making money. We'd come to Marathon to see a boat that a neighbor from home was selling. This Catalina Morgan 382 has a lot of what we're looking for, and both Kyla and I were excited to see it. It was also a great opportunity to hang out with friends and get a local stake on life in the Keys. It was tough to leave, but we needed to head north again. On the drive back to St. Pete's, we were able to see a few more boats. The whole idea was to get a sense of what we liked and what we didn't like in a boat, so the more the merrier. In total, we looked at about 10 boats, including a Freedom 39, a Hunter 41, an old CNC 40, a Catalina 36, an Endeavor 42, a Catalina 38, and of course, the Catalina Morgan 382. 
With all that to digest, we headed back to the beach for our last couple of days to relax and talk through what we'd seen. After getting back to Ottawa, we decided to move on the 382 based on the price, the fact that it had a brand new engine, and we knew the seller. We arranged a survey, but unfortunately the boat has sustained some hurricane damage, even though it had been on land during the storm. The ribbing had come untabbed in a large section of the boat, and so we had to let it go. Definitely worth the price of a survey, though. And so it's back to square one for us. We'll spend the summer sailing our Cal 29 on the Ottawa River and resurrect the dream at a later date.